what's up pickle peeps so today we are doing a follow-up to yesterday's video where we learned how to do animated gifts for our google profile images who else is loving it totally ridiculous superfluous but fun and if your brand is fun then i highly encourage it i think it's very very entertaining I am exceptionally entertained at least. Uh, so that was yesterday. Now today we are taking it a step further and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a um, beautiful email signature that goes above and beyond what you can do just in Canva. I'm gonna tell you why. So we're gonna go over today how to design a gorgeous email signature, how to um, set it up and put it into Gmail where you can have multiple links and how to do it both static and animated. Who's ready for these three? Let's do it. But first, my Okay, pickle peeps, let's do this. So, couple of tools that we are gonna need in order to get this project going. Number one, a Canva account. Now, if you are not doing the animated version, um, you can get away with this on a free Canva account. If you are doing an animated version, you just got the extra step of uploading to Giphy and then downloading your GIF. <laughs> That's all. Um, so we need Canva. Second thing we're gonna need is Google Docs. <laughs> And the third thing we're going to need, obviously, is a Google profile or a Gmail address because that's what I'm setting this up to work in. All right, you ready? Let's do it. So first off, I want to bring you guys to Canva. Oh, if you don't have a Canva Pro subscription, I don't know what you're waiting for. There's a link down below to try it free. Um, yes, I'm an affiliate, but I use Canva every damn day. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I want to point out is um, when you go here into Canva, you can look just for email signatures in their um, templates. And you can see they have one 400 by 200 is the size they designate for an email signature. That's fine. And you can see all of the templates they have here. Now, really, these look an awful lot like business cards. And if we were to put this in as our email signature on Gmail, it would um, we would only be able to link it, have one link one active link going on in there, which is kind of sucky. Usually we have multiple links going on, right? So we would have one active link and it would be um, like, you'd have to hyperlink the image itself. So we don't want to do that. We want to do something a bit more fun going on. Um, I got to say, like, personally, I am loving this one right here. <laughs> Woo! So the method that we are going to use is we're going to piecemeal images together. That way we can have multiple links going on. Are you ready for this? I promise it's going to make sense at the end. So if you want, if you want, if you only have one link that you want to take people to from your email signature, which is totally fine, then you can just use any of these templates right here, or you can create a file that is a um, 400 by 200, 400 wide by 200 tall, and you can put whatever you want. And again, it would come up over here. You would see these like, I really love that one. I just love like this, the half and the half with the rainbows, like that part I am loving. Um, but what I'm going to do here is we're going to set it up so that we can have our GIF going and do it in two ways. So what I did actually is split this in half. So if this is 400 long, then I went ahead and created a doc that is 200 by 200 here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in for my, um, for my face here. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull that. And I'm just in elements. I'll show you guys where I am. Elements, scroll down into frames. And that's where you can get the fun shapes and whatnot. And I just went for it because I really liked that one that we were showcasing over here. <laughs> so I have this going on. And let's see if I take my color here. I wonder how they did. I don't know how they did that. Um, gradient in there, but that's okay. So I can use this. This is my branding blue. No problem whatsoever. We can keep it as that. And then I did really like that half and half gradient that they had. So what I'm going to do is come back into elements. I'm just doing all my background stuff and I'm going to search gradient blue because my, um,
my branding is blue and I want this like where's the halfway point stretch it down and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send that backwards so I can right click and send backwards boom I don't know how great this is gonna look on here but we shall see <laughs> I might get rid of that gradient I don't know but I'm gonna like it here that's okay and from there, now I'm going to go ahead and put my image in. So I'm going to go into uploads. And this is where we can upload the GIF that we did yesterday. And we can put that in or we can just put in any regular image. So if you put in one static image, this is going to be a non-animated signature. And if you put in a GIF, it will be an animated signature. So if I go ahead, I can put my GIF right in there. Boom, boom, boom. That's fine. Actually, I think we get rid of that backdrop and we'll just have the plain circle. Cool. So I can go ahead and share on that, download. And again, I'm going to download this as a GIF. Could I have just used my square GIF from yesterday? Absolutely, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew how to do this. So give it a second for this to download. Fantastic. Okay. Now, something else that I might look into here since I got this one done. And now, I want to go ahead back into elements and I want to look for like thank you text but what I'm really looking for is I want animated text so I'm going to come here into my filters if you are on um if you're on standard I don't know how much you have in the way of this so really I would love to have like a handwriting one going on and it depends I'm not really seeing anything that I like the TGIF is pretty good. Stay positive they have. I like stay epic is one of the things that I say all the time. I'm not really seeing what I actually want in here, so we might not be doing this part. Um, but I do have another place that I want to look. So there are two places that you can look for GIFs. You can look in elements under, um, and this would be like your graphics, or you can go in and you can add in Giphy. Now, if Giphy is not showing up in here, there is a way, I think you would click on more and that's how you would get Giphy. Like they have Bitmoji, they have QR code generators, they got all sorts of stuff in here. So back over to Giphy and say I put in thank you. And I don't want all the extra stuff. So really what I want is a thank you sticker. So here's a thank you so much. That's kind of cool. And nothing that really fits my branding. Always add sticker. Sticker is what gives you, I learned this from Jessica Santisi. Um, <laughs> okay. That cheers is pretty cool. It'd be even better if it was blue instead of pink. You want to add in sticker because that is the GIF equivalent to a PNG file on images. All right. So we have this as an option or we can come up into text. We can add a heading. So I'm going to do my stay epic in there. And now we can try to animate our heading. So we have basic words, oops, simple writing. So we can do a typewriter in there. We can do an ascend. We can do a shift. Writing style can be by the character. That's pretty awesome right there. I like it coming up. Character on enter. I'm going to cut cheers out of here. Ah, so anything you hover over, it does it. <laughs> Hang on people. I don't know why it says shift up here, but that's anime. <laughs> so we have on enter by character going up and then maybe I want a squiggle underneath. So we'll come back to here. Squiggle on. I don't know if that's actually going to give me what I want. <laughs> Graphics. And I want this one. Even that right there is just kind of cool. And let's preview. Let's go back to the beginning. I want to see how long it takes to do my stay epic. About one second. So I'm going to take my six here down to one. Boom. How's that? I'll take it. It works for this. And we're going to download this one. Again, download as a GIF. Okay, so we got two cool things going on here. Now, we are done with Canva and we're going to jump on over into Google Docs. Now, this is the strange part, but we need Google Docs for the coding capabilities. So it's going to do this. It's going to handle the spacing and like the back end coding for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by inserting a table 
And this is however many columns you want your signature to be. So if you were looking at some of those templates and you're trying to rebuild them because you want them clickable and you wanted three portions to it, that's fine. I'm going to do a half and half a two, por a two side here. So a two column. And now we're going to go ahead and insert our image, upload from the computer. Boom, there's my signature GIF ready to go. So this is gonna be obnoxious because it's an example of all the crazy things you can do. I really would recommend only having one animation in these things if you do any animations. And now in the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and put my second one. And quite honestly, okay, so this one right here, I could have made it just that little bit and I could probably just do the state epic with a single picture of me. This is like I said, obnoxious levels right here or I could make this pull it over into the third and I could, I could insert another column, boom. And if you want, so I could do it like that and pull my stay epic over here and then put my information here. So I might have medals and pieces. What kinds of things might you have in here? Medalsandpieces.com, your website, phone number, email address. You might have your get an exclusive discount code, any of that kind of fun stuff. At which point to make these clickable links now, you would go ahead, highlight your text and you're gonna come up here to the hyperlink button. So insert link, warrior, boom. I take this one, link it, com, and build another one, earrings. I mean, don't go crazy with your links, but your general contact ones, go ahead and feel free to put those in here. And this one I think is go.lucky. I think that's the name of that link. Did that work? Yes, it did. Cool. All right. Yay, I remember my own links. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of these. Boom. All right. And here we go. Center, do whatever you want in there. But here we go. We have this. This is so extremely obnoxious. Um, but I'm showing you all the cool things you can do. So then you're going to come back into your email and you're going to go to the settings button up here. See all settings. And you're going to be right in this general tab in the first one. You're going to scroll on down until it says signature. Ta-da! So I do have a signature in here. Here's another one that I have where I have all of my Oscar stuff in there. And yes, I got clickable links. And we're gonna go ahead and create new. So I'm gonna say YouTube is the name of this new signature right here. Yours is whatever your default or whatever you wanna call it. And now what we're gonna do, this is where the fun of doing it like this comes in. We're gonna go ahead, control A, control C, copy everything or right click to copy. And then come back over here, click in, and you can right click paste or do control V. And ta-da, there it is. Now, if this is the one that you automatically wanna do on everything, what you're gonna do is set, um, you can set it as your default signature. Um, you can set that for new email use. You can also set it for replies or forwards. That way, like if you're forwarding stuff, you're replying to things, you don't have like a stream of your signatures on there. Say I put that for YouTube. Now it's my default. You're going to scroll down and click save changes. Boom. Now if we compose, ta-da, there it is. And if we do not want those um, lines in there, what we can do is that was not what I wanted to do. There is a way on the table. Okay, just click inside any of the boxes to get this little arrow drop down. And okay, so you select your borders and you can come over here to the thickness and you can set it to zero, great. It's a little hard when you have the, uh, the images in, so maybe drop them down into another one and that way you can get to that, okay select all and then they'll change your settings up here and you can go ahead and make it invisible I can drop that back over there and I'm do the same thing with this one boom hit the find that little box click them all make it a zero bring that back over boom and now we don't have the boxes in the way so I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna come back over here and back into my settings. And now we're in here, select on the one you wanna use. 
delete that one that I had in there and paste my new one in. And now we don't have those annoying lines in the middle. Ta-da, changes. And now we can take a look at here, boom, ta-da. Excellent. So just like that, not bad. Again, like format your text nicely, make it look good. This was done very quickly. I mean, I like the stay epic straight as is, and I like this one just as is, but together, no. But this is how you can do it. And again, if you just want a straight, simple shot, um, simple image, then go for it. It does not have to be animated. Um, use your animations wisely. All right. <laughs> and that is it for today. I hope you found it this useful and had fun, Pickle Peep. Um, comment below. Let me know, do you have an email signature? And... If you do, is it something that you're looking to refresh or to change? And if you don't, let me know when you are putting one together. Because, okay, like, let's be honest here. You can do the one, the straight Canva one. You just don't have any live links in it. You have one link, that's it. Or you can do it this way and you can put all the links and stuff you want in it. You just got to do, like, go and play with the fonts. Make it look pretty. Not hard to do. All right, Pickle Peeps, I will see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and set the bell for notices whenever we post new videos. We are on a 90-day streak, and this today is, I believe, day 26 or 27, something like that. All right, I'll see you on the next one, Pickle Peep. Bye!